Welcome to BTVN, where you get your info now. I'm Brandon. And I'm Todd. This show will cover the information you need to stay up to date on the latest happenings. For our first monthly episode, we have Facts of the Month, Upcoming Movies, County News, and Awkward Questions. Let's go over to Tyler with Cool Facts of the Month. Hello and welcome to Facts and Birthdays with Tyler. The first, first birthday is Bela Lugoso, very first Dracula, born in Romania, October 20th, 1882, Teddy Roosevelt, Rough Rider president. He died January 6th, 1919. He was born October 27th, 1858. Now time for Leonardtown. Leonardtown is the newest high school in Maryland. It was made in 1978 and there were only three classes. There were freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. The other, the seniors were in the other schools finishing out their high school careers. My name is Tyler and see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks, Tyler. Next, we have Logan and Rick discussing the biggest upcoming movie of 2017. Star Wars. Star Wars. I love it. Do you like it? No. I love it. I love it. All right. And the new trailer dropped a little while ago. I'm going to watch it. When I found you, I saw raw, untamed power. And beyond that, Wait, it says tickets available now? I think you, it's for pre-order. Uh, yeah, it's for pre-order. Why don't you go get it? Why don't you get some? No, well, I mean, I wouldn't recommend pre-ordering it because then there won't be as much available for me. Um, <laughs> first thing I want to talk about, Mark Hamill's face. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he d he's selling it. Like, when when you the, could, the earth cracked? No, just like every time you see him, he's... There's like, he does a good job at like showing fear. Yeah. And like surprise. But, ah, oh man. Like, yeah, like he, you can tell just by looking at the chair that he's seen some stuff. And <laughs> yeah. he is not happy. I don't think he has all his marbles straight. He looks kind of off. Yeah. And I'm excited how, they, how they're going to take that. Because you've seen, you know, four, five, six. He's, you know, all day. He's all together. Mm -hmm. He's brave. And now after he's seen everything destroyed he's, like he he's did. kind of uh, scared and mm -hmm. I could see how the, I could see how him being the hermit is like the old hermit like they wanted him to fill uh, old Ben's shoes oh, in the manor for, for like yeah. for Ray but that that's segueing me to <sighs> I am a little bit afraid of it being like episode five. Oh, me too um, I'm more than a little bit afraid <laughs> Because, like, you know, episode, like, seven copied episode four. I mean, it Just was a little bit. I mean, it was well, a not a little lot. bit, a lot. But it's a lot of things. I and mean, that's why I'm afraid of them going to do episode eight and five. Mm. The, old, uh, the new upcoming Jedi goes to train with the old Jedi in some desolate place. Yep. While the other people in her team go off and try to do their own thing, fighting a big organization like the First Order of the Empire. What I'm thinking is, is that uh, desert planet. I'm thinking that's going to be the rebel base, and then like the snow planet. Yeah, they're both white, big AT-AT type walkers. Mm -hmm. uh, the low flying flying <laughs> ships. It's starting to look it's a, like yeah, it's, you know. it's a little bit scary. And I mean, you can't really blame them too much for going with, I guess, the script or outline of something that works, because that's the safe way to go. But I'm yeah. hoping that they don't take necessarily the safe way, but the one that we don't expect. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, they need... I mean, Star Wars, there's so many things to do. With it. There's so many books. There's so many TV shows. There's so many comics. So there's plenty of other ideas to go with mm -hmm. other than just the movies. So we want something a little bit more original. Yeah. I'm not saying that's going to be, like, episode five, but that's what I'm afraid of. 
yeah she looks like but it's like i what. mean even if it is like episode five it'll still probably be good yeah, and be everybody good. will spend their money on it <laughs> but the thing is like that trailer like it got me hooked in again because when the first mm. trailer came out i mean it was like all right yeah. star wars is back but it was kind of it wasn't enough it wasn't enough it was kind of just like okay I yeah mean, they there wasn't anything to really catch catch you except mm -hmm. for the it's time for the jedi to end, end. Yeah. yeah that part and that's where i lost my lost my mind but i mean i think everybody one, lost their yeah, mind but this one it shows you so, so much, much more. more it shows you finn's you know doing well he looks like he's captured he's fighting phasma I mean, kylo ren when he's like gonna I think blow he, up his mother. And I think he even gets a new lightsaber because I'm pretty sure he loses it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he lost it on the Star Killer base. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's making a lightsaber. So something that I've also heard that the director has tweeted is that uh, this they're not pulling the pulling back like what they did, like JJ uh, Abrams did, where he he's like, I'm not gonna show you anything important to the story in these trailers. Cause I don't want you to get it. Because the new director, he's like, hey, if you don't if you don't want to know anything about the movie, don't watch the trailer. Yeah. Which is almost impossible. I mean, and yeah. plus everybody's talking about it. I mean, even yeah. we are. And I mean, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard not to watch it. But even if you do, it's not revealing too much either, which is too always much, good. Yeah. Hopefully. But uh, yeah, it shows you the parts <laughs> that you want to see. It shows you, it shows you the the space battles. It shows you the the tension between Kylo Ren and. And it gives you the cliffhanger. It's of, got some really good character as well, like character moments. With like who? With Kylo Ren oh, and yeah. Luke, and some a little bit of Ray, not much of Ray. Yeah, not much of Ray. Surprisingly enough, Ray really wasn't in this trailer that much. Well, yeah, she was like physically in it, but she wasn't really doing much. I mean, she had the lightsaber, and and at the end, we're like she's a teacher, but everything else, she was just in there, not really doing much. But Could something that be a problem. Well, um, this is just a trick. I, I don't think so know. because I have a feeling that just like in episode five, she's only going to be there for maybe the first quarter. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. But something I'm really excited for, and I have a feeling they're going to throw it towards the end of the movie, is seeing Snoke in person. I am so excited about he that. He looks good. He does. Like you see him, like got a gray in that hold or something. I don't know. And then I look, watching the show, I was like, that's actually him. It's not just a hologram. Yeah. That's actually that's definitely him. him. And I'm like... And they, yeah. they did good. They definitely did a really good job. All right, that's enough of Star Wars for now. And come watch us next time, and we'll show a new trailer. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Rick and Logan. Now let's head over to Preston and Todd for Great Mills High School Spirit Week.
Thanks, guys. Lastly, we have Brandon with Awkward Questions. Today we interviewed lots of people. Some of them had wise answers for dumb questions and dumb answers for wise questions. I'm Brandon, and this is Awkward Questions. That's all we have for you for this month. See you next time on BTV In.